And welcome back to the episode of Black Rock Shooter. Last time uh, we got the senpai's troubles and uh, kind of the counseling teacher showing kind of her true fucking face. Uh, her being like that and all. And uh, yeah, definitely things are going to the shitter right now of uh, the, the senpai having a mental breakdown and looks like sleeping, just like Kagure. And I'm still not too sure about who the red one is. It could be senpai and, or it could be the sensei. Because the red one has been there all along the, with, uh, from the first shot we've seen. Of the red eye in the sky, but hmm, not too sure. Uh, yeah, uh, I think that's all I have to say for now. So uh, let's begin with the, the episode. In three, two, one, go. Chains. Oh yeah, back to this world, the d desert where the red one was. Growing, yeah, it's a black and white one we've seen from the intro carrying Kagari. Dead body? Why are you bringing her? Oh, you're gonna throw her into a pit? And there's the red one. Definitely feels like that's the sensei since she's. Observing them. And kind of keep an eye on them. On their... Her experiment. And sowing the seeds of another... Persona owner. Miku? Going to the intro like that, okay. Black Star Rock Shooter. Or Black Rock Shooter. Okay. So we finally saw a glimpse of the black and white one in uh, the actual show. Looks like she may be doing the bidding of the eye in the sky, okay, the red one, but I'm not too sure. So yeah, eh. That's all to go still be seen. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm, you die. Was a fall of knees. Come on, many times of happiness. A crock shooter, I can't ask. Mm hmm, she just a roaring. Um. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, yeah. The world in my dreams will someday close upon me. Okay? Ah, Kagari. You... Sure, change your hairstyle. <laughs> yeah, they don't know her past. There we go. <laughs> Seriously? You fucking... Do you have a fetish for that or something? <laughs> or a foul mouth? Does she only fucking... Insult people? What? But her wo... He, her other worldly per persona... Persona has been... Permanently killed, it seems like. And thrown into a fucking ditch. Hmm. 
that feeling setting back is innocence. Yeah, they have been long together. And it, you aren't really meddled into this situation really that much. Even though you know Kuroi doesn't mean you are fully integrated into this situation. You're still hurt underneath. Fucking hell, that face. Ah, it's not even fair. Are you even allowed to do that? Trying to be... Okay. Now you even feel lonelier with Kagari take, quote unquote taken away by other people. Going for the blue bird. Out of all the black symbols on there. You're gonna get even more depressed if you go to her. Weren't you here and... They, why would you come back here after last time? There we go. There comes the goddamn thing. Wait, was it you the last time that came here or was it you or me? That got black coffee. I think the best thing in this situation is just talk to talk to them and say that you are feeling lonely. Is that actually happening in real life, or is that just effects to show us what's happening inside of her? Yep, Saya Sensei is watching it. Is she burying herself inside of her own world? Okay, that's almost definitely Saya, probably. Doesn't feel right, is it? Now. Uh, that's... That's kind of what you need to do to, uh, uh, to Kuroi. Say those feelings, but a bit less... Actually, maybe not. Y you guys are friends, so it should be fine to shout a bit? Since... Yeah, that, I won't get your feelings through completely. And all that. Uh, no, you're on the goddamn roads. Did you me go? Okay, to show me gone out later. Kakari to maybe avoid her. Oh, she can. to you but they have a kind of special relationship they don't know exactly the relationship so mm. 
it does seem to them to be a bit needy or, or obsessed to uh, say that. Oh, you're sneaking out. Okay. <laughs> because Yomi is in there. And you never did anything for her. Well, for now, I guess, what from what info we know, it's best to uh, set set aside some time and spend time with her. I see the seeds of doubt sowed by Saya. Building up yourself in a wall now, yeah. Not entirely. You're just having... Uh, it, it, that's a bit of truth in there, but... Uh, oh no, now she's gonna see Koi and Kakei together being a bit buddy-buddy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yep, and there we go. Seeing her with Kuroi. Yeah, I just seeing her there. It is the muffin she made. Well, that sunny something you did right of uh, giving back to people. Also. Gagari really is goddamn taller than I expected. Now she'll be a bit shorter than goddamn Koi. Is she tired? Yeah. That will be. Yeah, that's a good idea, but I feel like that would be also a bad idea. Because if you goes, her jealousy of you will definitely maybe boil out. She's getting tired just, just sitting there, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah, the guy you confessed to. This gun. He doesn't care anymore. That this 
Oh. She blocked it from her memory. Oh, Asaya. It got it blocked. Nice timing, Rain. Nice timing. <sighs> Have you eaten yet since you got home the other day? No, no, don't tell me that mess is gonna be you is gonna come over and she wants to be friends with you. Do you watch cat goddamn come around? Yeah. The fuck? What's that? We need an actual psychologist here, not Saya Sensei. Now she's gonna go back to a kind of obsessed, not obsessed with, she's gonna get obsessed with Kagari instead of Mato. No. That's not the way it is. You... It's not that Kagari needs you. You need Kagari. She is a liar to herself, man. Saya? That's a lot of symbols there. But what does that all that mean? She's just silently agreeing. Moving on. <sighs> ah, Black Rock Shoot is finally on this scene. But it's a bit too late now. It's almost evolved way past the, past the, the trash line where you can actually deal with it. That was a kind of spur in the moment. I 
Okay, those are not the words that she wants to hear. Yeah, definitely not got them words she wanted. So what symbol did you choose, Saya? Uh, the blue bird. Set <laughs> uh, free. This is really something that you want. She doesn't want to be set free. She wants the world to be chained down to the way she wanted to. Or the way it was. <sighs> is that voice modulation actually happening? Or is that just for us? That's a that that's the worst thing about candy shows is that you don't know what's actually happening on purpose for us, or is it actually happening in universe? Now, some people like that. People's gonna like it. Yeah, I don't think you alone, Black Rock Shooter, is gonna be able to take this one on. That's it. Okay. Yeah, science definitely got the the red the red persona. <sighs> and Yomi's hmm. It has been ruining a lot a whole lot. But Saya dropping the goddamn words of no one needs you. Definitely set it off way faster than it normally would be, or without her. It's... Uh, mm. the, the... The way that Kagri proposed, asked for advice right there, definitely wasn't what I expected, kind of, the repaying would be for of just breaking off the, the whole ties I don't just repay it repay her for what she's done for her and just and maybe and go, go for a new relationship with her maybe it was her intention to do that but worded it very badly and before she could e even really finish, Yomi already broke just by the wording and her thoughts and ideas on the words that came out. She's trying to strangle Kuroi? So five, Black Rock sh Shooter! Okay. Okay. <sighs> hmm. It definitely this is a setup episode or for the next one of uh, funny Yomi's arc, or maybe it's gonna be even more since next one is episode five and there's six, seven, and eight. Definitely, there's an OVA or a special, was it? But I think it came out before the show even started, so I uh, don't know how much that's going to relate. But yeah. 
Koei was definitely too late, or the Black Rock shooter was definitely too late to that situation to actually resolve it easily. Then again, hmm, it's... Yomi's way of dealing with this is definitely not the right way. You know, just not talking, not doing really much. And just brewing up the hatred, the jealousy of the friends around your one, kind of one and only friend. At the end, they're thinking that Kagri needs her. Whereas, in reality, it was the opposite way. You only need a Kagri. You, you wanted something to attach to with your change, but a change, chains. But there's nothing really to attach to. You have to make your own foundation to attach your change to. And uh, you don't need to say put. The world changes. And the world's not going to wait for you. It's just going to go, go and go. Well, hmm. Oh yeah, is there any special meaning for every single symbol that was on the coffee cups in Saya's cupboard? Like I know the blue bird is representing of Yomi and Kuroi since it's that picture book. But hmm, also the blue bird is the only one colored. Wait, does that mean that every single other cup means a different persona has died? Or been destroyed by Saya in her experiments or whatever. Hmm, maybe. I'm not too sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Kairi is back at school. Foul, still foul mouths, and apparently a lot of people like that. Uh, a guy just literally jumped out of his seat because uh, he's a foul mouthed blonde. Actually, not little <laughs> girl, school girl. Uh, why would you even jump out of your seat? But yeah, she's been progressively getting better, better, integrating herself into the school and needing less and less of Yomi. That's a good thing, I have to say. Getting, uh, getting, uh, more self sustainable without Yomi, but the thing is, with that, she very fastly got rid of almost a lot of time they normally would have spent with Yomi. And that definitely does, like, give him a very hard kick in Yomi's per uh, mentality, because one day she's there, the other day she's not. It's, uh, yeah. And the classmates that definitely didn't help. They don't know what kind of life they, uh, Yomi and Kagri had, their relationship with each other. Where Kagri pretty much had Yomi inside of her palms, Yomi were scared the whole time. But in their eyes, I can't justify why they would react like that, as I said. Somebody reacting like that is definitely feels a bit obsessive about the person. But that definitely didn't help with her, and she just kept building up this episode. Even with Mato's, Mato's friend. Yeah, that, 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 that definitely is a very hard thing for Yomi to accept that Mato has an, er, um, an earlier friend. Somebody she has known longer than her. Like, Yomi has been like maybe a friend for him less than a month well the other friends probably been there since the first day of um, probably middle school or maybe even preschool so yeah you definitely expect th uh, things her to be more, co more comfortable around Yui and do s more stuff with her and Yomi just can't wrap her head around that she just wants to be best friends immediately and that's not how how a relationship works you have to earn it. You have to spend time with it. <sighs> well, yeah. I think that's all I have to say for this episode of Black Rock Shooter. And I 
We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.